Hey YouTube, so I'm back with another video, and yes, I know I have been MIA for a while, but I'm back and I'm better. So this video is going to be on my wash and go style and how I achieve this high puff. In between my protective styling, um, the high puff wash and go is my go-to natural hairstyle. So if you would like to see how I achieve this look, stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is section my hair off into two sections and then I'm going to apply my favorite leave-in conditioner, which is the Kinky Curly Not Today, onto my hair. Okay, so I'm going to be using the lock method and if you're not familiar with the lock method, I just added my L, which is my leave-in. I'm going to be adding my O, which is the oil. And this is the um, Alakay Essentials oil. I absolutely love this oil. It's a lightweight oil and it contains um, essential oils like jojoba oil and sweet almond oil. Okay, so here's what my hair looks like after adding in my leave-in and my oil. So the cream that I'll be using today is the Camille Rose Twisting Butter. And this is actually my first time using this, but I've used other Camille Rose products and I love them. So we are going to see together how this wash and go is going to turn out. Okay, so this next step is optional because I know a lot of my natural ladies do not like using combs on your hair. So you could actually omit this step, but I actually like to um, further detangle my hair by using a wide tooth comb. So now I'm going to add in my cream and I'm going to finger massage it through my hair from root to tip, ensuring that I am coating every strand. So to define my curls, I'm going to be using the Camille Rose Curl Maker Gel. And I absolutely love this gel. I have used this gel in the past and I love that it does not leave a cast on my hair, depending on the cream that you use. Um, but I love that it doesn't make my hair feel super crunchy and it's quite moisturizing if you ask me. So I'm going to do the same thing that I just did on the back section on the rest of my hair. I'm going to lightly detangle my hair, go in with my leave-in, follow up with an oil, and then the cream and then the gel to define my curls. So here I'm just raking the product through, just ensuring that I'm getting it on every strand. This is me going back in with some more gel to help define my curls. I don't like super defined curls, but then I don't like a bunch of frizz either. So I usually try to define my curls based on the level of frizz that I am looking for. So one of the things that I want to add is that my hair is actually still really wet. It may not look as wet, but it actually is. I move really fast. This wash and go usually takes me anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. And then the drying time associated with it, of course. So I usually use this raking method because I feel like it not only helps me define my curls, but it helps me clump them together. Here we are at the last portion. And like I said, I just take some gel anywhere where I feel like it's going to be a little bit frizzy and I just smooth it in. So here's what my curls look like right after doing my wash and go. And then here's what my curls look like about 80, maybe 90% dry. Okay, so one of the things that I did notice about this combination of products that I use is that it did leave a slight white cast on my hair. So to break that up, I just used some oils. So I like for my edges to lay down very slick. So I use the Eco Styler Gel on the entire perimeter of my hair because I feel like it gives me the hole that I'm looking for um, and it lasts all day long. 
Okay, so to give my puff a little bit more height and um, volume, basically I'm just going to take my pick and just pick out the roots of my hair, not really disturbing the curl pattern. So I have been known to be a little heavy handed on my product usage, but it's okay. So I'm just adding some more gel just to ensure that I get the sleek, slick look that I want. To further aid with this, I'm just going to use my brush to slick up my edges. So to create my high bun, I'm actually just using this elastic band that I got from Target. But basically it's a stocking rolled down into a hair tie so we're gonna slick up those edges one more time and then we're just going to roll the um hair tie up until you get the desired look that you are going for So once you get your puff position in the way that you want, you just wanna go in with your pick or with your hands and just fluff out the roots some more for some more volume. Okay, so y'all remember me saying that I'm a bit obsessive about my edges, so I'm gonna be taking this Curls Blueberry Bliss edge control paste and I'm gonna be applying it to my edges just to give me that extra sleek look that I oh so love. So the last step is going to be to tie your hair down. Um, ladies, please do not skip this step because this step allows your hair to last all day long. So what I normally do is tie up my hair and then I'll do my makeup, but I've already done my makeup. So here is the final result. Can we please just have a moment to appreciate these edges? <laughs> and these curls. So if you thought this was an easy to follow along video, let me know that in the comment section. Thumbs up this video and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.